Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to be uh, creating the ability for users to delete their videos. We we are able to update videos. Now we want to create functionalities for users to delete the the uploaded videos. All right. So what we do now? We head back to our view by view in the file file just below the update underscore video. We are also going to create the delete and video. So it's kind of almost similar, but we'll make some changes. So for us to save them, can just grab this code and just replace them again and edit them. So instead of update video, we change it to delete. Change it to delete. Delete video and we we'll get the video. We don't need the form anymore. So we'll grab take out this form. So we're also checking the post is we take out this we are not using any form and these also so we are checking if it is post what we want to do is we want to delete the video video the delete call the delete method all right so once that is complete we want to redirect back to the um, yeah back to the end channels dashboard page but in this case we've already deleted the video so we cannot get the video the channel dot slug anymore so in that case since the channel slug is also the same thing as the user name we we'll just change it to the request dot user dot username all right so that will also give us the slug okay so once we do that we want to pass the video into the uh, yeah into the contest first because before we delete it the deleting is going to be a post request so before that we need a get request for us to get the confirmed delete page so that's why we are passing to the contest and returning the render where we're going to render the video delete page or delete videos that HTML we can just call it delete delete underscore video dot html all right so that's that about the view function so we can save this um in our urs the pi file just the way we created that for the we we'll just grab this so we we'll just make some changes here we have edit video we're going to change it to delete delete also we also need the id because we are passing the ID so we need to bring in the function all right don't forget your comma here that's the function I want to pass that function into our here to our the delete video function yeah, yourself edit video you are changing to delete delete video all right okay. so once we save our URL back to our dashboard here we have our delete here we're going to create a simple uh, URL function that will take us to the delete page which does a delete confirm confirm delete page by D all right so this will actually take us to the videos and page as a delete videos page so we need to create the delete videos page now because in our view we call it delete the underscore video dot html so in our template inside channel inside the other channel we we'll just create a, a delete all right so without waste much of time we we'll just copy the simple html um, content in here all right so this is our delete uh, page which is just a simple html page we are loading our base.html and loading static just the uh, block header and also inside the content we just create a simple container borders and uh, here we are asking are you sure you want to delete this video yes supposed to contain the video that I want to delete name remember we pass in the video into our contest so we have that video so can you see are you sure you all right 
so this we ask if we want to delete the video with that title and in here we have a simple form which the action is also the delete underscore delete and that's the name in here that's the same name and we are passing the video id into it and um, don't forget our CFRF token because it's a post request and also here we are putting a pack but in the case you don't want you decide to change your mind and you don't want to delete anymore here you can just cancel if you don't you can cancel it will take you back to your dashboard page or you can click the confirm button to actually delete this um, video so that's all about this uh, video details page as uh, the video delete page so if we save this now and uh, let's check our server everything is working let's head back and just refresh and uh, if you move your mouse over to this uh, you can see the url is actually showing up so if we hit the delete it will good take us to this are you sure you want to delete the jungle test video you have the confirm button you have the cancel button if you click the cancel button it takes us back to our dashboard page now if you if you come to this confirm button you click the confirm button it will not actually delete the video it will only delete the record of the video in our database but the video in our file will not be deleted we still have the video in our media uh, roots i think it's our media roots yeah we receive in our media file we still have the video there so for us to actually be able to effectively delete the video from our database and also from our file system we need to override the model and um, delete function just like the way you can override the save method in the model instance or in model um, class you can also override the delete function also so let me quickly demonstrate let's okay what i'll do now we don't really have much videos in this channel so let me just create two dummy videos to demonstrate what i'm actually getting at so i'll pause the video and quickly upload two sample videos in this channel so we can just work with all right guys i've been able to upload two sample videos which is dummy video and then other dummy videos so now if we decide to delete this and uh, dummy videos this dummy video here if we delete the video if we confirm and delete it will remove it here we are not seeing it here it will remove from our model but if we go back to our file system if we go back to our media file here we will have the video underscore uh, files We are in the channel 2 which is the second channel you see we still have four videos which is one two three four and uh, in here we're having just three videos and you actually deleted the record from the database but it's still keeping the file in the file system so for us to actually delete both we have to uh, override the delete function in here we have uh, yeah file yeah so we need to override the let's just put it uh, i think uh, let's say after the yeah we can just define the method here which is our delete the delete method here we're going to pass in self i'm going to pass in ax ax and then quarks all right then no, forever you are doing don't forget to call the super method because that is a very important uh, method if not it will not override the default method so you have to call a super don't delete so this super method that we called on it is actually correct and uh, connecting the read delete method the read default delete methods from the model instance connecting with our custom and delete method so what we are actually doing here is we are simply deleting the five feet which is we name as video if we come to our model we name the five feet as video this is directly referring to the file in the system so we are calling the delete method on the file also 
so that when this delete method is being called it will not only delete the model instance it will also delete the file from the file system so if we save our our model and then let's uh, restart our server all right so we restart our server so we can just refresh if you also check the default um Django documentation you can see overriding predefined model methods you can see say there's a set of uh, model methods that encapsulate a bunch of database behavior that you want to customize which are either the save method or the delete method so you can read more about it so you know how you can actually customize it on your own so that's for that so let's quickly refresh our dashboard and uh, let's try our delete uh, method one more time so if we hit and uh, delete and then um, we confirm and delete all right so let's check our fire system let's head back to our model our media file sorry and you can see we are having just three it were four before so we were able to successfully delete the record and also the file from the uh, file system remember the first initial one we deleted the file didn't go out so that's why we are having three so that's all about the delete method and finally we are done for now with this series maybe later on if there is any other functionalities we can add to our uh, video management system so we are able to actually create videos list videos and perform a lot of tasks in this uh, series Thank you guys for actually watching to the end. Uh, I promise the, the delay for this series will not happen again. I have great series coming up on this channel, so don't forget to subscribe and also hit the like button so that other Django developers can find this tutorial. See you.